Our organization, we normally um, use millions of dollars worth of grants every year, but, and we're constantly doing more and more above and beyond. Even in our mobile meals program, for instance, the federal money we receive only covers about half of all the people that we serve. So if it wasn't for grants, we would not be able to serve in the way that we do. You know, probably 75% of our um, operation funds comes through grants. We are funded with a lot of grants. We always have a need for research because we, as a nonprofit, we rely on uh, grants, but we also rely on research and data to support the grants that we write. I'm the grant writer at Catholic Charities, so I use your research to up the credibility of my grant applications. I write a really good story. I can tell you everything about our clients and our programs, but without the research that backs our interventions, the application is really not credible until I add those references. On the front end, uh, everything that we do is uh, based on some sort of evidence as to why we are starting this process, whether it's a new uh, initiative or a program that we would be looking to start uh, or implement. Uh, we would use the data on the front end to say, how has this worked? What does the research say as to why we should even start this to begin with? To us, you know, having open access to some of this information means the, the ability or inability to pass that information along to the people that come to us looking for you know, guidance and, and be able to fulfill our mission. Typically everything that we've done has just been internet research. Well, we do have the Tennessee.gov database um, that you know, we use very frequently, but that seems to be pretty much the, the extent I haven't had issues with access. I am a recent graduate from an MPA program and so far I still have access through that university. But I know that's not going to last and when I lose it, we'll have two options. One is to pay for those articles, which is for a small non-for-profit cost prohibitive. Or spend time at the UT library, which means away, time away from my office and away from clients. You know, every concern that we have is being studied and written about in academia. Um, and I certainly see that the links aren't always there between the, the theory um, and the studies and then the actual practice in the community. So anything that can be done to, um, to make that link happen, sharing that information is a great service to the people, um, you know, outside of academia that want to see changes happen. So this is really important, getting the resources and having references in my applications is important, but it's not the big picture. The big picture is not-for-profits, large and small, should be using your work, your research, to help make informed decisions about the policies they're going to advocate for, the strategies they're taking, programs they're developing, and the interventions they're using within those programs. Without access to research and those published articles, we can't possibly be doing our best work, and that impacts our clients. So it's super important that we have easy and free access to research and publications. And a part of it is public awareness of the good work that's being done in a place like UT and, and other educational institutions. People don't realize that you know, their tax money or their parents' tax money is going to fund this sort of information and this research. And, developing these great ideas and concepts and then they're locked away somewhere.